We will now hear from our student speaker, who was chosen by her classmates to address the graduates. Oluwabambashe Onobanjo is a Nigerian-trained attorney who obtained her law degree from Babcock University. Before coming to Duke, she practiced as a litigator and project development attorney, and also volunteered with nonprofits that supported women farmers in international trade transactions. At Duke, Bambache worked as a policy analyst with a team of neuroscientists and data analysts on a Bass Connections research project that analyzed North Carolina's mental health and substance abuse related policies to understand their impact on recidivism. She also worked with the Campus Climate Committee to review policy recommendations aimed at improving the campus experience for students, staff, and the Durham community. After graduation, she will practice as an international trade and development policy attorney. Bambache. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I want to give honor to God, the curator of my journey, and the one who proves to me that through him, I can do all things. I want to honor my parents, Olutuke and Adeoti Onobanjo for the sacrifices they made and the opportunity to learn audacity through their lives. Their courage towards life propels me to demand what I deserve from life and never give up. To my family, this is the surprise. <laughs> the evening I submitted my application to Duke, I laughed at myself, saying, it's the audacity for me. Not only was getting into Duke a hurdle, but I also knew fully well that I will not be able to attend the program without the Judy Orwitz Scholarship. Thank you, Duke Law. <laughs> Last summer, I lost my father. And I had to decide whether to come to Duke or not. My emotions became volatile, and I had to make a flight or fight decision. Like many of us here today, I chose to fight, and it's making all the difference. Class of 2021, we have all faced one challenge or the other. The choice to start the LLM in the middle of a pandemic, and our worry about having the full Duke experience or even deciding where to go or what to do after the LLM. And the seemingly little worry about how not to enroll in a two credit course with four credits load of readings. <laughs> Through these challenges from our own countries to Duke, I have learned a few lessons that pertain to us all. The first lesson is to fight. Challenges spark strong emotions that can make you to cower. Identify what the true challenge is, learn from the obstacle, and let the reason you tried at all propel you to stay the course. If you fail, fall short, or receive any form of rejection, take the lessons and please try again. The reward of seeing your dreams fulfilled is more powerful than the protection that failing to try again would ever afford you. If this isn't true, many of us would not have made it to Duke today. I learned from my friend Nas Go <laughs> that if I must have any regrets, it should be things I did and not things that I didn't do. I hope you do the same. Bet on yourself. The second lesson is to self-motivate. 
I have learned that self-motivation is imperative so that when external motivation fails, which it will, you have something to stand on. And that is why beyond winning gold medals, athletes strive to beat their own personal best records year in, year out. The third lesson is to put your mask on first, not literally. Class of 2021, today, you join a pool of the finest lawyers the world has ever produced. It comes with pressure to be stellar. However, remember the aircraft safety instruction to put your mask on first. Prioritize your mental health and ration what external pressure you allow to get to you. The fourth lesson I have learned is to appreciate and embrace difference. As humans, we tend to get a little too comfortable with what is familiar. Consequently, we are quick to discard people who do not look, think, or talk like us. Here at Duke, we had the opportunity to be a part of a class so diverse. We represent 31 countries from six continents. From our interactions and lifelong friendships that we made, it's easy to see how beautiful it is to embrace diversity. We must look beyond the qualities that differentiate us and focus on what makes us all the same, our humanity. The fifth and the last lesson is to bring hope. In a world where the lines between justice and injustice are increasingly blurred by human errors, bias, and inequality, choose to dedicate some of your time to making the law to bring hope for the vulnerable again and to curb the growing trend of serving justice based on privilege. The world deserves the justice that your lawyering skills can bring, not just your employers or clients. And this is true, whether you choose to work in the public or private sector. The champions of the fundamental rights and liberty that we enjoy today did not speak so that we can be silent. Class of 2021, whenever you are faced with these questions, can I push through? Do I have what it takes to be better? Or can the world be better because of me? Don't be quick to answer, it depends, like we are taught to approach every legal question. Rather, approach these questions with a definite help, question, um, yes, to yourself and to the world being better because of you. Congratulations to us, class of 2021, and thank you for the honor to have been your class speaker.